What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out for another overnight here in one of my absolute favorite spots up on this hilltop overlooking a lake. You can tell that we're just pretty much into spring here. The birds are chirping. The forest is coming to life. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got a nice rainstorm predicted for later tonight. Super excited about that. I got my tarp. I'm doing a tent this time. I actually brought some amenities out. So we're gonna take a break from some of this more kind of bushcrafty type of stuff that I've been doing. We're gonna, we're gonna do it up. We're gonna do it up. I don't know if you call it glamping or not. Let me know in the comments if you think this is glamping once we get everything set up. But um, I'm all set. I'm set for a luxurious stay out in the wilderness tonight. And I hiked all this heavy stuff in here, so I think I deserve it. I'm gonna start by getting my tent and tarp set up. But before I do that, I wanna make sure I take a little sip off of the old banana flask. Woo! Trying something a little different tonight. I've got, what the heck is this stuff called? Cinnamon whiskey? Uh, fireball. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> got a couple of rocks here that we need to get out of the way. Just put these over in the fire pit here. Fortunately, someone did leave some uh, blue paracord there. No big deal. Throw that in my trash bag and we'll get it out of here. Somebody's little bottle cap, no big deal. Take that with us. Okay, looking good. Tent will go right here. That's perfect. I did bring a chair. I don't know if I'm going to need it. And a table. That will come in handy. Tarp. Food. Of course, we got the beer, very important. Got a nice selection today. A couple extras, because why not? All the way at the bottom. That's the way you do it, Sam. Ground sheet. Nature Hike was uh, nice enough to send this two-person tent over to me. I've set it up, but I haven't had a chance to test it on a trip yet. First official test of this tent here. This tent is cool because it has just this one pole, so you don't have to mess around with a bunch of uh, separate tent poles. Bing, bing, bing. Got the clips like this. And then it's so light. Pick it up and move it. And then the flying either clip into the tent body or if you're using the floor like I am, then it'll clip directly into the fly instead. Do that on all four corners and voila, fly is attached to the ground sheet. You can pick it up and move it. Now, it has a vestibule that comes out like this. In order for that to be functional, it does have to be staked down. So we'll need a couple stakes here. And voila, nice little shelter we got here.
that's the cord I recovered from the little Ford I made in the last video. Putting it to use here. That ain't even too bad. Suck in the gut. There's actually another fire pit back here. I don't know why that's necessary exactly, but somebody put it there. And this sucker is just laying right here. It's like a dead tree that fell over and this should work all right. Yeah, that was a little bit of work, but doesn't look half bad if I say so myself. A little loose on the back there, but that's not gonna hurt anything. Table and chair under here. Woo! What do you say we crack one of those beers? I had one of these Jackio's Raz Wheat, wheat Ale with raspberries left over from my last trip. Can't let it go to waste now, can I? Mm -mm -mm. Everything's coming up bananas. Not too shabby. Well, that is not level at all. But I can lean like this. And that's not too bad. It's not the table's fault. Oops! Of course that was gonna happen. <sighs> Ground's just not level. Just not level. Mmm. Foamy beer. And nature. I wasn't sure why those geese were going nuts like that because the rain is getting ready to start. Now it makes sense. I still have to get the fire going because if it starts pouring, I'm never gonna get that thing done. So whew, I'm gonna gather some wood and we're gonna get this puppy rolling. These are two wonderful kindling pieces here. This is not so wonderful. Someone's broken beer bottle. Take that with us. How did I not bring a plastic bag? It wouldn't be a Sam Bananas video if I didn't forget something. I forgot garbage bags, but that's okay. The only thing this had in it was the kettle. I'll figure something out. I have a handkerchief I can wrap it in. It just has soot all over it. I don't want to throw it directly in the pack. So hopefully it doesn't get a hole in it. We'll be careful with it, but I have something to take the garbage out in. The rain seems to be subsiding, so it's good for now. 
I do hope I get my rainstorm because it is so much fun camping in the rain and I do enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to that. But even if it doesn't rain, that's okay. Because I'm having a great trip so far. Should be a pretty decent little tinder bundle there. Rain keeps threatening like it's gonna come in. Wait. There it goes again. Okay. I've gotta get this thing built up. So I can sit back and enjoy it. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't have a ton of firewood. I have a bunch, but it's not processed. It's not ready to go. So I'm gonna have to see how this pans out. I think it'll be fine. If I have to go out and process firewood in the rain, I've done it before. We've got a great selection tonight. Ernest Brew Works. Crunchy Hippie. Beer number two. Cheers, YouTube. Might be a good idea to get this closed up. Man, it just keeps threatening to rain, threatening to rain, and then it doesn't rain. I don't know what it's going to do. There's some rain. Let's get this to where I can actually reach it under the tarp in case it starts pouring. Okay, no harm, no foul. I don't care if the wood gets wet, it'll still burn and I can uh, baton it or whatever I need to do it if I need to do that. So for now, I just want to get it. The stump won't make a bad piece here.
I keep going back and forth about whether or not this thing can really take the place of an ax. I broke my ax handle a while back. And I've been turned off onto buying an ax because a good solid like woodsman bushcraft ax. And they're ridiculously expensive. This was $20. So we'll see. You can see I'm just barely starting to get a little bit of drizzle there. That's uh, Bigfoot getting abducted by aliens, just in case you're curious. That's two pieces. Okay, coming together. Coming together. Okay, this is on the ground. Still seems pretty solid. Let's check her out. Oh, she's solid, all right. Oh yeah, that's good firewood. So we're going to take this one, this one, and this one is good as well. Let's at least saw this one in half. Just drizzle, drizzle, dabble. Here's nothing. Woo. As my mom would say, there's another. All right, let's get it all back to camp. Mango Jerry Tart American Wheat, a local favorite from Maumee Bay Brewing Company. This trip couldn't have worked out any better. Got all that wood gathered. It, for the record, it doesn't matter if it gets wet on the outside like that. As long as there's a fire going, it'll absolutely burn. As long as it's not wet on the inside. Done it a million times. Anybody who's ever camped in the rain knows the same. I got more firewood than I could possibly need. I'll leave it for the next person. All I gotta do is cook. Now that's gonna be a challenge. 
Oh. I got a slightly damp, but like I'm already pretty much dry. If this thing was drenched, that would be a different story, but it was slightly damp and it's not crazy cold. It's like high 40s, I think. Cheers, everybody. Fireball. I always feel like a hobbit when I smoke a pipe. It might have something to do with the fact that I look like one, also. <laughs> if this isn't the perfect camping trip, then my name is Sam Bananas. And it legally isn't. Woohoo! Camping in the rain! Yeah, buddy! I'm camping in the rain. It's actually getting to the point where I'm going to need the rain poncho for sure. I'm going to have to go uh, grab some lake water and boil it and I'm going to use that to make my dinner. So here's a whole nother adventure we get to go on. Come on guys, let's do it. For dinner tonight, I'm having this instant stroganoff, a little olive oil here, and then just for the heck of it, we're gonna throw some bacon bits in there. Yes, that's my cup that I had whiskey in.
Next, we got an old classic here. Mommy Bay Buckeye Beer. Because around here, it's Buckeye Beer. Okay, moment of truth here. Hey, not too bad, not too shabby. is good. Man, is this gourmet cooking? No. Man, <laughs> but it is good. Yum! I want to give a big shout out to Mrs. Bananas. She helps me edit all my videos. If you can do me a favor in the comments and say, hi, Mrs. Bananas, that would mean a lot. I would appreciate it. Also, if you haven't done so already, please click that banana. It means the world to me. It's the number one way that you can help me uh, grow my channel. If you've already subscribed, please like the video and leave me any kind of comment below. But if you're wondering what kind of comment to leave me, besides saying hi to Mrs. Bananas, I would love to hear when you found me. Is this the first video you ever saw of me? Or did you find me from another video and you've been following me for a while? I love to hear that stuff. Leave me a comment below. All right, I'm gonna do the dishes. With titanium, I learned from Lone Wolf 902 that you can literally take titanium cookware and stick it right in the fire. And when you pull it out, there's just a little soot on it that you can rinse off. It's pretty awesome. I bought this pan for like, I wanna say it was like 30 bucks. If you're interested in any of the gear I use in these videos, you can find it in the description. All right, well, I'm going to get this pan into the fire to get all the food burned off. I'm going to finish this beer. I'm going to stoke the fire back up. Maybe I'll have one more beer or so, but it's getting a little late, so we're probably going to hit the hay. If anything crazy happens, I'll be sure to let you know. Good night, everybody.
right, well, we got our fire stoke back up. I'm just gonna sit here, probably finish off this beer, chill out for a while, nothing crazy, because I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm getting pretty close to wanting to hit the hay. So if anything else happens interesting, I'll make sure to film it and I'll check back in with you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. Cheers. Maybe a little Lagunitas for good luck. <sighs> Come on, baby, baby, we're gonna chew that chunk. I know you can't control yourself any longer. Got no but the 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 but Guys like Gloria Estefan? Do do do. Dancing in the rain. Woo woo woo. Camping in the rain. Woo woo woo. Camping in the rain. Sand bananas is the camping in the rain. Woo woo. Get down with it cause the camping in the rain. I got a Luganitas and I can't cause no pain. Everybody knows that I won't leave a stain. And also, you know, it ain't no pain, it ain't no gain. Mm. Ah. Woo, woo, camping in the rain. Woo, woo, camping in the rain. I am camping in the rain. Yeah, you know, I'm camping in the rain. What, 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 what? Come on, come on, give me that stuff. One, two, one, two, three, four, camping in the rain. You know that I'm always be camping in the rain. Small plots with Kevin. He wished he was cool as me, but he's not. He's just a idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Bust it one time. Yep, yep, yep. I'm funny. I'm funny. Woo! I feel free. Yeah. Woohoo! 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 Yeah, buddy. I'm camping in the rain. All right. That's quite enough for that. I'm going to bed. I'm super tired. Maybe one more beer. Crush Worthy from Great Lakes. Locale Citrus Wheat. Ale with orange and lemon. Hey, YOLO. Mm, man, that is light and refreshing. All right, for real, you guys, I'm whooped. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And, uh, you know, every single one of you that watches this video means the world to me. All right, that's enough out of me. We'll catch you in the morning. I'm gonna sleep this one off. Good night. Good morning, everybody. I had such a peaceful sleep last night. That was a awesome camp. So much bird activity and just all the, all the little chirps from the birds. You can tell we're really starting to get into spring because the 
forest is really coming to life here. So side note here, the great thing about bringing all this stuff out is you have such a comfortable camp. The bad thing about it is having to tear it all down and pack it all up in the morning. That is a pain in the butt, but that's the camp we chose to do today. So we're gonna get this all torn down and uh, hit the trail. No breakfast this morning, no coffee. So let's do it.
man, what a night. That was an awesome camp. So happy with that, and I am so glad you guys got to come along with me for the ride. Campsite's all cleaned up. I'm leaving this wood pile here uh, for the next person who decides to camp here. Um, got as much garbage as I could. Unfortunately, there's still some out here. Do the world a favor when you go camping. If you brought it in, take it with you. So anyway, I appreciate everybody coming with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please click that banana. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.